Imagine this, twisty mountain roads, a vast shimmering reservoir, and the remote beauty and stunning mountains of Thailand's Kanchanaburi province. I'm taking my motorcycle on a solo adventure, and you get to come along for the ride, far from the tourist trail. This adventure is all about conquering epic routes. The thrilling route 4041, a scenic ferry boat ride across Shunakarin Reservoir, and the awesome ride to Pilo on Route 3272. If you crave the thrill of riding remote mountain roads and breathtaking scenery in an exotic land, you won't want to miss this one. I battled the Bangkok traffic to my first overnight stop at the Siwalai Hill Villa in Nang Pru. It's only a little over three hours. I could have gone further, but I wanted to be fresh for Route 4041. The next morning I tackled 4041, took the ferry across the reservoir and made my way through some pretty sketchy and mostly unpaved roads, stopping at Pug Kud Habitat in Tang Pa Pum for a couple of days. Next, I headed to the remote village of Sankluburi, up near the Myanmar border for an overnight stay at Porn Palin Riverside Resort. Then I headed back to Pokud for a night before heading to Pilok. I didn't connect with the village, so I treated myself to a second bite of the apple and rode Route 3272 back to Tang Pa Pum and continued on to the town of Kanchanaburi, pampering myself at the beautiful Deba Mancha Resort for a night before heading home. Every trip starts with planning the general route and checking the weather. Here you can see the two roads I plan to tackle, Route 4041 and Route 3272. Unfortunately, there was rain in the area that would influence my departure. After days of waiting for the weather to cooperate, I finally made it on the road, uh, making my way out of Bangkok, heading towards Kanchanaburi. Got quite a trip planned here. Uh, just going to be me and the bike, and uh, we'll catch up to you in a little bit further down the road. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. So we're finally out in the countryside. It never ceases to amaze me every time we drive out of uh, Bangkok how big the urban sprawl is. It was over an hour to get out of what I would call urban sprawl. We're probably oh, an hour and a half into the trip, maybe a little more, and um, it's gotten a bit more rural. So we're starting to gain a little elevation. I mean, the hills over there, the mountains over there, I suspect that's kind of where we're really headed. Should be a lot of fun tomorrow, but uh, today, this was more of a, uh, let's position ourselves for the uh, next few days of uh, mountain riding. So here we are pulling into this uh, little town that I think the hotel's in. There's the village Watt. I think this is the turn. This is what I call a perfect stop. Park the bike right outside of my room. 
perfectly adequate, beautifully clean, and set up just right for a stop. And here's the market right across from the hotel I'm staying at. Looks like fried cookies. Some fresh produce. Eggs. Looks like some kind of omelet. I'm not really sure. Wrapped tubes look fantastic. Chicken. While the market looked great, I decided to walk a little down the road to a restaurant that served Mu Karata, a tasty Thai dish that was the specialty at this place. It turned out to be a wise decision. So this is your restaurant. So we have pork. We have chicken, and that's grilling, and then around it is a broth, the soup broth, and in that there's all kinds of vegetables, shrimp, noodles, egg. What a lucky find. And of course, there's a Leo that goes just perfect with this meal. It's morning here in Nang Pru. We're having a little coffee now. We'll pack up, be out of here in a few minutes, and um, head off to the mountains. Catch you on the road. So we left the hotel, gassed up at a PTT station, had a little coffee there at the Amazon coffee shop, and we're on the road headed for the mountains. So it's pretty overcast, but the uh, weather forecast is not calling for rain. If they're right today, we should be fine up here. If they're not, that's going to get a little tricky on these mountain roads in the wet. Part of the game, we'll see. A lot of gravel on these roads. I don't know if the road surface is coming through on the videos, but it's intermittent. It's gravel, you go slow. If it's not, you go fast. So luckily this guy just drove down, so, uh, and he seems to think there's a ferry coming, so I guess we're okay. It'd be a little tricky getting the bike on and off, but all part of the adventure. There is our ferry boat.
Let it not be said we don't go first class. So little did I know, but the uh, road from the ferry on this side, it looks like the entire thing is uh, unpaved. But man, this is out in the jungle. There's nothing out here. You see a couple of bikes going back and forth, the trucks. So I don't know what they do out there. There was one very rustic village I passed. Uh, I made the mistake of not getting something to eat or water or drink because I kind of figured I'd go into a ferry that I'd be able to get stuff there. But as you saw from both sides of the ferry, there was nothing, there's nothing here. This could get a little tricky. Boy, if that's the way to go, that looks worse than this. This is definitely riding above my pay grade. I'm going to guess because that was blocked off down there that uh, this is the more acceptable route. Don't know. It's 20 to 4, so we got a little more than two hours of sunlight left. I came to the place, my first choice place, Pukut Habitat, and all of a sudden this woman appeared in an SUV, and it's her place, her name is Ja, and she was very accommodating, showed me the place, so I decided to take it. The next day I spent riding around Kang Pa Poon and the scenic Shrinikarin Reservoir. Stopped here at the Balalangkorn Dam, which is quite an impressive dam, as you probably saw on the ride in. These monkeys were pretty aggressive and helped themselves to snacks from the basket of one of the scooters. This is a recreational area. A little floating accommodations out there. And it seems to be a thing here where they have all these float tells, these floating hotels where people go out there on these structures and spend the night. This is a beautiful little national park campground, beautifully manicured, beautifully kept grounds. So it's Friday morning at uh, Punk Kud Habitat had a wonderful night last night went with Ja and her daughter and her friend to a uh, hot spring which was really nice we're gonna head to Sanklaburi uh, this morning well I left Pukud Resort about um, oh, about a half hour ago um, on the 323 that parallels this huge lake heading towards Sanklaburi
My room looked out across the lake to the Mon Bridge, the longest wooden footbridge in Thailand. It led to the Mon village, home to the Mon people, who were one of the earliest to reside in Southeast Asia and were responsible for the spread of Theravada Buddhism throughout the region. The big Buddha perched on the hill overlooking the lake was inviting, but was under renovation, so I didn't trek up to it. I did visit the stupa in Bodh Gaya. The visuals speak for themselves. Next, I rode over to Wat Wang Wikram before heading back. The other route my trip was built around was Route 3272 from Tonkapoon to Pilo, another great ride on an awesome mountain twisty road. Unfortunately, I didn't gas up when I left, and there was a PTP station per Google on the route. When I got there, there was nothing there. So I continued on, went up to Pilo. Turns out there's no fuel available in Pilo. I called the night before to some of the better places. There was no availability for hotel rooms with, uh, with little gas and no availability. Figured that just turn around and head back, so I did. I had never been in Kanchanaburi, so found a five-star hotel along the River Kwai, and uh, we're gonna spend the night here. So this is the famous bridge over the River Kwai. Kwe, Kwe. Kwe. So the real name of the bridge and the river is pronounced in Thai Kwe, not Kwai, Kwe. Coincidentally, I saw the movie on the ride over from New York to Bangkok a few months ago. In that movie, it was wood. Here it's concrete and steel, so I guess it's an updated version. And it has uh, been leveraged into quite the tourist scene. We're here early on a Monday morning, so this is probably about as light as the uh, tourism gets. But it is uh, nonetheless filled with a bunch of white folk. So I left the Kwe Bridge and headed back to Bangkok. I hope you enjoyed seeing a part of Kanchanaburi that few tourists get to experience. If so, please hit that like button and subscribe for more unconventional journeys. There's no telling where we'll be for our next adventure, but we hope you'll join us. Cheers from Bangkok.